What's going on everybody? My name is Phantom Mag and today we're going to huddle around the campfire and theorize about what Firefly's potential kit can be. And would she be worth the jades you've been saving up all this time? Let me know down in the comments below what made you want to pull for Firefly Sam. And make sure to subscribe to the channel. Let's get to crafting. So two days ago, as of writing the script, Honkai Star Rail Trip marketed our beloved Firefly to be HSR's 2.3 first 5 star unit. And oh my god, they look amazing. She's the first ever destruction unit and the final playable member of the Celeron Hunters. It seems that from the info they provided, they confirmed Firefly is from Glamron, which means that she's potentially the sole survivor of Glamron. And she joined up with them in search of the meaning of life and looking for a way to defy fate. Either way, it is my fate to spend every last bit of my jades on this woman. It also looks like Sam got a major upgrade as well and wields not one but two swords which I feel most people haven't realized yet but he's definitely rocking too. Now with her following the path of destruction she does have to compete with IB Don Hung, Jing Liu, Blade and Clara but I do believe that she'll have the damage output to be a must have on your account. Hell I even think that she'll have some really great synergy with Jing Liu or especially Blade on some dual DPS teams. And for the reason I'm saying that is because of the information on Sandfly's light cone. When the wearer's cumulative HP loss during one attack exceeds 25% of their max HP, or if the amount of their own HP consumed at one time is greater than 25% of their max HP, immediately heals the wearer for 15% of their max HP, and at the same time increases the damage they deal by 25% for two turns. With this honestly really helpful info, we can deduce that her kit will play around heavily with HP. I'm thinking that her skill will be single target and will work similar to Jing Liu zone, where you'll have to use it a certain amount of time to activate its true potential. Since from what we've seen, Sam's power does have an activation mechanic. That or her ult will use the activation mechanic instead of the skill. And the skill will have an HP reduction and regen mechanic, so the HP reduction wouldn't be so taxing. Now, I could be wrong and it's actually a multi-target skill since in her splash art she's using two swords, but I personally believe that her ultimate will have a play in allowing her to actually be a multi-target. And going back to her ult, the more obvious choice would be to entangle Sam's activation state to her ult and have it where her ult will do massive damage to all enemies on the field and enhance the skill by X amount of reduced HP and make her skill multi-target since again, if you look at Sam in the splash art, he's building two swords, which both represent each other, with guaranteed burn and increased crit damage. Allowing her to attack multiple enemies on the field will guarantee that no small baddie survive to drag on the battle longer than it has to and will increase her use as a DPS even further since this has worked for the heavy hitters like IB, Don Hung, Blade, and Jing Liu. This will also ensure variety, entertainment, and damage potential with her kit. I can see her being on teams consisting of Blade or Jing Liu, a preservation unit like a Venturine and a healer like Luolcha, or even Sparkle for consistent damage. Then again, people will come up with insane dual DPS team comps, so I'm not worried at all. Now, the real question you're asking is, should I skip 2.2's lineup and Jade and save for Firefly? And well, my biased answer is obviously forget Robin, Bootlicker, and fine, sexy Jade, and hard save for Queen Firefly. And my logical answer is obviously pull for Firefly. But in all seriousness, if you are excited for Robin or Boot Hill and you love their kit, then go for it. You have more than enough time to save up enough Jades to pull Firefly or even Jade. You can even do what I'm doing and skip Robin and Boot Hill, save for Firefly, and sell the left side of your brain for Jade. The story of Penacony is getting crazier by the minute, and we're bound to be introduced to more interesting characters that will have their own unique kits and probably brand new abilities. While on this note, this will also be the chance to introduce more units with types that haven't gotten a pat yet, like Firefly being the first ever fire destruction unit. I'm also sure that the ones who looked at the leaks have their eyes already set on some units coming in the future. I cannot wait to see what 
creative units Honkai Star Room has in store for us. Anyways, that's it for my crackpot theory kit for Firefly. She has some crazy potential to be a solid top tier DPS with insane synergy with Blade or Jing Liu, crazy HP manipulation, and a rather unique ultimate. I do believe that we're in store for a really dope DPS, and I honestly can't wait to go bankrupt just attempting to get her. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Signing off.